50 minutes left of this two hour event. So you're welcome to jump in. Maybe we'll end up getting paired up in this 10 0. All right. So round one of this late join. Let's try what move. We'll go with e E4. Okay, Sicilian land. I've been playing around with this knight e2 move. Far from uh, an expert on this variation. I don't know all the details. The, the main thing that sticks out to me is that this guy remains uh, free to move. So, all right. Well, I'm immediately drawn to this hole on d5, so... And even knight here could be a move. I'll go with this one. So I'm really keying in on, on d5. And I can't play d4. So let's go with d3. I would really like to have this in there. But I think to, to move the knight... It's a little bit clumsy. He's not the knight's not going to be so great on g3. So I'm going to go with what uh, a setup that I initially was thinking of. I was initially thinking of going with this kind of setup before this committal move was in there, and d5 was a hole. So I'll I'll, I'll still carry on with this this plan to fee and keto and have my my bad bishop inside the chain and directed on the the long diagonal observes d5. I think this was worth considering because now um, I'm not sure how great a role uh, the d pawn is is going is playing here. Uh, one of one of the things I I think about here is be, because because of this hole on d5 and there's a pawn right here. If I if I could maintain control over this, I'm really limiting the strength of the d6 pawn. All right, so probably just castle. I am uh, a little mm, trying to figure out what what might be the idea here. Is the bishop intending to get on this diagonal, or this kind of stuff to trade my light square bishop? So if I castle queen c8, I'm going to go with this move first. And yeah, I'm just going to go with h3 first. I want to, I guess I, I want to gather a little bit more information before I make my decision to castle. Okay, so now I feel much more comfortable castling queen c8 is really not a problem. King h2. Snug like a bug in a rug. Somebody was just pointing that out in the chat. I'm not I'm not saying that phrase enough, they said. So there you go. He would be snug like a bug in a rug on h2. Nice and cozy. So from here, no rooks are playing. We have to get an open file, and this is the only one that really can be opened up. One little check here before I even touch this guy. Open diagonal. These guys are gonna hurt me. I don't think so. No checks in the position for either side yet. So if okay, that's interesting. What's what's the deal there? I have enough support over e4. This diagonal is being opened up. I could bypass if I really wanted to play d4. I think I'm I think I may want to play d4 instead of winning this pawn. Intensifies the pressure here. I think it I think it forces black to give up their strong e5 pawn 
employing d4. There is something I gain with d4. As as <laughs> I could I could win a pawn like this. I'm taking away from the center, but I believe there is benefit in this advance. I think it's pretty intolerable. As otherwise, uh, maybe I play d5 and squash this guy. After this, it's this guy's close to being trapped. Would be trapped. Bishop b5 a4. So let me just kind of scan for another moment or two. D4 or chop. <laughs> I'm going to go with D4. Hmm. Now let's win the pawn. All right, so something that it was running is running through my mind a little bit, and uh, I have to be a little bit careful. I, I don't know if my opponent's tuning in. Yeah, this check, this check I did see. Um, I have to be a little careful. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna play here. I'm not going to go with the snug like a bug in a rug square. Yeah. This move I wasn't so much concerned about. I wanted to stay off of h2 because I thought h5 and then this idea of knight g4 with check might be in the air. As it stands now, my knight is offsetting their knight on h5. And this isn't really a piece that can be disrupted. So I still have some work to do here. I want to get my bishop on e3. So let's start with queen here. And I may want to also play b3 first. I don't think I really want to give up my b pawn. Let, let's start with this. Now, it's true the knight could play to c5, but then I have this. My opponent's playing very fast. So, to keep this in mind, I am up a pawn. Castled. I need one bishop move to be connected with these guys. I have some good coordination. That move feels like it's somewhat of a passing move. I'll flick in this move a4 to not even allow this break. Um, as I, I see it right now that the only open file is going to be on the uh, f file. And so I don't want additional files to open up. If I could keep it such that there's only this f file that's going to be opened and I control it, I think that's only benefiting me. Okay, queen there. Feels like she's asking for trouble. No? Yeah, it certainly feels like she's asking for trouble there. This feels a little weird, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play this one. I have something up my sleeve. Do you see my threat? Okay. I was I was preparing to play queen knight here and then bishop here. Can I still do that? Not exactly. I have to watch out for this uh, e4 pawn there, striking at it three times. If they had castled knight here and after capture, then the queen queen was going to be dead after bishop a3. I think it's now time to drop that knight into d5. Maybe my pawns get straightened out. They do. And from here, what I'm going to do is challenge their best piece. 
their night. The, my night on E2 isn't the brightest piece around, offset by this, this pawn on E5. Okay, I'm going to take here. This this They have pressure here, but they have to take back here. Well, they're not taking back there, though. So that's a... Uh, I, I get to save this piece. I'm up a clear night now. They could grab here, but... Uh, they do. They're playing fast, man. They're playing fast. All right, let's open up this F file. And what's the way? What is the way here? I guess we'll take another pawn. And I'm looking at rook b1 stuff, but all right, I really want to get at their king. Still in the center, 27 moves in, no castles. Rook there. Oh, I have I have rook takes here. This is a sneaky move. That's a sneaky one. Uh so I had that on the previous move. <laughs> right? Unprotected pieces is the problem. Can you spot the unprotected piece? Got yeah, knight there is the follow up, winning the queen. I'll take. And I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with this move. I do have a check, but I'm getting the queens off. They might have something where they counterattack my rook, and this guy could go into Pac Man mode. We shall see. All right, so a knight versus pawn imbalance. And I guess we could. Eh, yeah, why not? Let's grab a pawn. Move forward. I got F1 covered. No great entry points. I just want to be a simplifying machine. All even exchanges are cool with me. So that's a start. Endgame, active king. And let's work on the coordination a little bit. Put this guy in a secure square. Could go here and then they're all coordinated well. Maybe tuck the king in. Let's start with this one. Or not. Mm, yeah, let's let's start with that one. There is this and I cannot take. Threatening the b7 pawn. Is also threatening to simply uh, go to b7 with the fork. Let's go here. Also have back rank mates. Possibly. Keep moving forward. This is covered many times. So I could get out of this pin. Threatening this and that. Chop here. And I don't have to take back. That's going to be me. All right. Round one in the books of this tournament.